This is my review on the G Technology D G Drive uh, 4 terabyte model. Um, I purchased this drive to use uh, with my iMac uh, for taking time machine backups as I wanted a large capacity drive so that I had plenty of room for storing these backups. Now, I think I paid around about £250 for this drive um, and this was in January of 2013 so you might be able to get it a bit cheaper now, I'm not sure. Um, the drive is encased in aluminium, uh, it's really well built, it's really well screwed together, it's, it's built like a tank basically. Uh, I'll just show you the various sides of it. Now on the front here uh, we've got the like little openings here uh, and this is aluminium where I've got my finger now. Uh, so there's plenty of ventilation here, uh, although the drive doesn't get very hot at all, but this is probably due to the excellent ventilation. It's got the little G drive logo here. Now this little white line here where I've got my finger, this little white section, this is actually the LED. Uh, now I'll get onto that a little bit later on in this review. Basically this will light up when it's powered up and it'll also flash when the drive's accessing. Right onto the sides now, you can see we've got the same holes in here for the ventilation. Uh, this is the back now. Uh, from left to right, this here is the Kensington lock. This one here, you'll notice that it's SS USB, which means it's a USB 3, but it's also backwardly compatible with USB 2, so if your computer's got USB 2, uh, you can still use it, albeit at the slow speeds of USB 2. Now we've got two Firewire ports here. I believe one is a Firewire 800 and the other one is a Firewire 400. This one here is for the mains uh, power and this is your on off switch. Under the other side, as you can see, it's just exactly the same. We've got the little holes for the ventilation. Uh, and on the underside, uh, I think this is a little bit of a heat sink as well. Um, as you can see, the sides of the drive wrap around underneath. Um, and then you've also got the little rubber feet on here, so they're not going to mark your desk. It's very well made, very well screwed together, um, and it's just basically built like a tank. Um, so, um, as I said earlier, it's... Uh, encased purely of aluminium uh, so if you've got a, a MacBook or an iMac it's going to be an exact match uh, for the colour and the style of it. Um, as I says I purchased this for uh, making time machine for using for time machine backups and I find that it uh, takes the backups uh, very fast um, with it being USB 3. Um, but you could also use it for other uh, backups, uh, for basically maybe keeping your film or your music collection on, or basically anything else you would want to back up. Now, I wouldn't say that this is the quietest external hard drive that I've used, but it certainly isn't the loudest. The um, thing that you've got to remember with external hard drives is that exactly that, they're external. So, you're not going to have the insulation that you would have from the noise uh, if they were inside a, a computer. But as I said, it isn't the no noisiest drive that I've used, but it certainly isn't the quietest. Um, now, I'll, it says earlier on I would mention about the LED. Now, I do have a little niggle with the LED on this drive. Um, I find that it's a lot brighter than it actually needs to be. Uh, and sometimes if it's on the side of my desk and I'm using it and the drive's getting access, the LED will flash and it can sometimes be a little bit distracting but um, if it would bother you that much you could always put a little bit of tape over to cover the LED up uh, and that would solve that problem but uh, I haven't got around to doing that myself but um, really that's the only niggle that I've got with this uh, drive, it's the LED um, I find it's too bright and I think that they could have chosen you know, a less bright 
and a better LED uh, for using on this drive. Um, but what I'll do, uh, I'll try and show you as best I can uh, how bright the LED is and also the noise level uh, from this external hard drive. Um, I am wearing a headset mic so it might not be the best mic to pick up the noise from the drive but uh, I'll, I'll try my best. If you just bear with us I'll just get the cable and I'll just connect this drive up now. Now I've just powered the drive up. You might not be able to hear, but like I said, it's not the loudest drive, but it certainly isn't the quietest. Um, I'll just show you the LED now. Now, it, just hide this away from the light. So as you can see there, it is lit up and it is fairly bright. Um, I'll just try and. It's not the best uh, room to be showing you it in because it is a fairly bright lit room but as you can see it is fairly bright and I think it's a lot brighter than it actually needs to be. Um, but uh, other than that um, I haven't got any problems at all with the drive. Um, I find it's, it's worked flawlessly for the 18 months that I've used it um, and uh, all the backups um, I took fairly fast uh, I don't find that it's a slow drive or anything like that um, so I can recommend this drive despite the couple of little issues I've had with the LED being a little bit bright but uh, yeah um, it's a good drive um, well I hope you like my videos and if you do can you give them a thumbs up uh, and also if you would want to be notified when I upload any new videos if you subscribe You'll then be sent an email when I add any new videos. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.